Ken Carpenter had never believed in Horner's idea of T-Rex the scavenger, and it prompted him to take a closer look at one of his hadrosaurs. It was then that he noticed something quite remarkable. It wasn't until Jack Horner asked the question, was T-Rex a scavenger or a predator, that I thought, hmm, there is something about this specimen that's very different and unique. It was something so obvious, yet everyone else had missed it. When I looked at the tail, it's rather unusual because one of the vertebrae is incomplete near the top. What's missing is the top roughly third of that long blade-like bone that's on the top. We can feel those same bones along our backs. Those are the tops of the vertebrae. So part of this vertebrae is missing. I also noticed there were some little puncture wounds on some of the adjacent spines. They're rather unusual in that they form a broad U-shape, which looks an like, awful lot like it was a bite mark. If the broad U-shape was indeed a bite mark, then this hadrosaur had been attacked by something with large and powerful bone-crushing jaws. There could be only one suspect. And Ken Carpenter had the weapon to prove it. We can see that almost a third one of these spines is missing. Also, we can see that there's some damage here. There's actually a nuts more damage on the back of this one and damage here. But it's this trough that's been cut through this bone that's most intriguing, because we can actually take the tooth of a Tyrannosaurus rex and put it right in there. It just fits so perfectly. The scavenger theory would dictate that the hadrosaur must have been dead when this happened. But Ken Carpenter suspected otherwise. What was rather interesting, not only did we have this U-shaped groove, but there was rehealed bone around it. The bone could only have rehealed if the animal was alive. And if the animal was alive, that made the T-Rex a predator. It seemed T-Rex was capable of hunting, after all. All this time, the answer to the question of whether T-Rex was a scavenger or predator was just in my backyard, practically. <laughs>